I'm Jim Benson, and you're listening to TV Time Machine. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit our show archives at tvtimemachine.com. Today on the TV Time Machine, we are proud to welcome Dog and Dakota Chapman of the reality series Dog and Beth on the Hunt. Dog Chapman is a legendary bounty hunter who, with his wife Beth, son Leland, and grandson Dakota, make tracking down criminals a family affair. Over the next segment, Dog and Dakota will talk about the dangers they face ferreting out fleeing fugitives and the new season of Dog and Beth on the Hunt, which airs Saturdays at 9 p.m. on CMT. Again, for those of you intrepid enough to jump bail, feel free to let the dog out as we flee from the past in order to track down the present. Dog and Dakota, thank you for coming on board the TV Time Machine. Well, thank you for having us, brother. How are you? Now, Doug, tell us about On the Hunt and what viewers can expect to experience in this new season. Well, if anybody ever seen the old show, Dog the Bounty Hunter, we uh, filmed that show in Hawaii with mostly my family members. We have now moved the show on the road. We're in a big, nice bus. We travel state to state, and uh, we're training other bail companies to catch their fugitives <laughs> and so on, but we didn't realize that most of these uh, fam- most of these bail companies are also family members. So we ended up, you know, our family training their family, and that's exactly what we do. So we uh, teach them everything from what shoes to wear to how to talk to the guy after you capture him. Where there's a lot of drama. Sometimes we argue between families, and you know they think uh, they know more than we do, and then they find out they don't, and then. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes we get along like brothers and sisters. At the end of the day, we, you know, we're all do the same. We're not competitors. We're comrades. So I've never in 11 years in filming television shows like this have ever seen such an action pack because the methamphetamine is taken over the country, and every city has got its own crime area. So it's completely, uh, you know, there's this time there's stitches, there's, blood, a lot of tears. There's, it's very compelling. I'm very proud uh, of this. And CMT is more of a fly on the wall, which means they, you know, they rock, or they roll, we rock. So they just sit there and film, and it happens as it happens. There's no, you know, this and that put, put in the game. You don't tell the fugitive, oh, let me stun you again. <laughs> My camera guy didn't get the shot. So, and now go ahead, grandson. Why are you here? Well, I'm the fourth generation, and two days after I graduated high school, my dad and my grandpa took me out, and ever since then, you know, every single time has just been a great experience, and coming from, you know, being 19, being able to see all of these things out here, it is really life-changing, and it's truly a privilege to be in this line of business. Because I have two generations to follow, you know, I have my grandfather and my father that are both, you know, excellent role models, and it's just a great privilege. Yeah, Doug, how important is it to you and Beth to continue the family tradition? Well, you know, it's very important. This is a, you make a, you make a, a, a favorable, you don't ever get rich, but you make a favorable living, you know, and there's something it's rewarding afterwards. You get thank yous from people, and whether it's the next day or 10 years down the road. You, this is a rewarding thing. It's like a, a mission. It's like, you know, it's, I don't want to say it's a preacher because it's not. We use the F-bomb too much. <laughs> we, uh, you know, it's hard to say, freeze in the name of Jesus. I mean, right. <laughs> you know, it's so, but I want them to learn, have, I want them to, go to heaven and have morality and be in love and have fun and, you know, do rewarding things. And that's what I've done since 1979, being a bounty hunter. So it's in, it was in my forefather's blood to track and to hunt. So I know it's in grandson. It's amazing what the stuff, I training other bounty hunters have to repeat things over and over. I tell grandson, hit the back door, tell me if he moves. Grandpa, I see his shadow in the back, Grandpa. And, you know, it's amazing that he's right there. So it's very important for us to, to the kids to carry, carry on the family tradition. 
Yeah, Dakota, what has this been like for you? What is the thing that has surprised you most about being on the ground with your grandpa? Well, you know, this season, is, the apprehensions were outrageous. I mean, I've never got so scared in my life. <laughs> I mean, I was holding on to my feet. I didn't know whether to jump off the car, chase the fugitive, or say, Grandpa. That's only my grandma. <laughs> I said, Grandpa, I don't know, I don't know. But, I mean, this, I mean, it's really, really a great experience. Doug, what do you think is the most important thing that Dakota needs to know about this business? Well, it's just not the business, you know, because we try. I mean, he's, he's learning about human nature. He's learning about when to be able to recognize a lie, uh, the truth, morality, what is good, you know, the, the, what is good, what is bad. You teach this do unto others as you'd have them do unto you, not as they do unto you. You be nice to these guys, and your karma, God, whatever it is, is going to catch up. That's the bounty hunting business. That's what it's, the whole idea, I think, is that as far as Dakota and the grandkids and some of the kids are concerned. Now, Doug, do you believe that there's always hope for someone who's gone down the wrong path? You know, I think 99% of people uh, nowadays, that you, you know, because the the uh, drugs, a man the other day, I asked him, I said, w- your son's got a gun, right? And he's like, yes. I said, will he use it? And he said, dog, it all depends what the drug tells him to do. So your, your question, you know, is everybody, it all depends on what the drug tells them to do. Mm-hmm. It's a, like a personality. You know, it changes. To be drunk, we all, a lot of people have been drunk, and what that does is change your personality and lower your morals. Times that 100. Times that being drunk, your morality is like a ah, little bit, you know, I'll go to church and repent Sunday. I'll go ahead and do that now. Now, times 100 with drugs. So without the drugs, yeah, I don't think they mean to hurt people. Right. And there's a few that, you know, I've met throughout the, work, the career that are going to hell. There's nothing they like, you know, when people get, like girls get hit on the television show, babies get run over, they clap and cheer. Right. Those are scumbags. I mean, right. but they're not all like that. Now, Dakota, last season, uh, you and Cecily, you took the bondsman test. What was that like for you? I felt like a, another high school test, except it was only 35 questions. I can't. That test was probably the most difficult test that I've ever taken in my entire life. Uh. Me and Cecily stayed up hours and hours studying, and you know I don't know if it was beginner's luck or what. Cecily passed the test first, and I never. It took me three times, but I guess you know third time to charm. Right. And I finally passed my bill, but I'm also a bail bond license in the states of Alabama, Michigan, and my home state, Hawaii. Yay. Yeah, very good. Now, uh, Doug, where can people find out more about yourself and Dakota and Doug and Beth on the Hunt online? Well, they have uh, cmt.com. Listen, yeah. you only have, it's an hour show, right? Right. And, and, uh... Our previous show was uh, on the other network was a half hour. Once in a while, we did an hour special. So in that hour, there's got to be, of course, commercials. That's how the network, you know, makes their money. So there's so many minutes that we can show in a show. <clears throat> Thank God today, CMT has got their uh, website where it's scenes that are, I saw. It, yes, one of the scenes was cut out yesterday, and I go, "What the heck are they cutting?" That's one of the greatest scenes in the show. But you've only got so many minutes to to show the show, and then now we have the uh, cmt.com where you can go on and see the they call it the, the web right. episodes. Exactly. Yeah. So you you can see a lot of the you know when you buy a DVD and it says the scenes deleted or blah blah blah, and you can do that. You can do that now. It's great. I mean, right. So you're getting you're getting a whole bus everything. All right. Yeah. Terrific. Doug and Dakota, it's been a tremendous pleasure having you aboard the TV Time Machine. Feel free to join us again in the future or in the past. Thank you. Thank you.